Hi guys, I hope you are doing good. In this session, we'll learn or understand how we can define the variables into the Python programming. So everybody hear this term, which is variable. In a mathematics, in a mathematics, everybody use that. So variable is nothing. It is a container that can hold some piece of information, right? For for an example, in this example, I am going to store the twenty one, which is integer, in my the container. Container means my variables. That piece of information could be anything. It can be number. It can be integer. It could be anything. And you need to remember one thing: every variable has the unique memory address. Okay. So once you are going to define a variable, so that variables has assigned by the unique memory address. Memory address are defined by the hardware, and we cannot change the address. But variables information will store in main memory, which is RAM. I am giving you the let's say general example. So, so for an example, every house or a flat has a unique address. Fine, means two houses cannot have the same address, so that people can find and distinguish easily in the same street. So in the same way, variable also defined at a unique address, so that Python interpreter easily identify the each variable. Okay, so let's understanding using an example. I am going to open the Jupyter notebook where I will give you the example. So let me add a new Jupyter notebook. So let's say I am going to define a a equal to ten, right? So the type of a which is integer. When you check where this variable is stored in our memory, so simple you can check with the help of function which is id. Id is a nothing; it's a built-in function of the Python programming. And here you need to pass your variable which is a. So it is giving me this value. But for an example, let's say I am going to take an another var variable which is b, and I am going to assign the same value. And once you check the address of B, then you will get the same address. So what is happening here? Here I am going to access the same value by the different different variables. Okay. So into the Python, in case if you are as accessing the same value, then you will have the same address. Fine. And Python variables value assignment is different from some of the popular programming language like C. C plus plus VBA and Java. In other programming language, you need to define the variable type first. Then you can store some piece of information, and you can use that variable in your entire program. Okay. So for an example, if you are defining a variable which is x as an integer, then you can store the value only the integer, right? You cannot store other value. And well. Variable value will get stored at the memory location, which called the RAM memory. So, let me prove you. So here, let's say once again, I am going to define x equal to, let's say forty. So in this variable, in this variable, if I want to assign the sum string, yes, I can pass the sum string as well, which is perfectly fine. But the same task, if I will do into the different programming, so that will give me the error. I am going to show you. So let me open the Excel. Variable declaration. Okay. So here I am going to define dim x as integer, right? So I know because I have defined this variable, so I can easily store the information. Which is integer, right? Then I can easily print that information. This is perfectly okay. But in some cases, if I want to define the value as an integer string, what will happen? It throws an exception. Okay, it will give me an error. Your type mismatch because that your variable type is integer, but you are going to define the Python, which is not possible. you can see that type is match okay so the one important thing keep in mind while you are going to define the variables into the python okay so 
here in python no need to define the variable type just in assign the value to the variables just i did because python is a dynamic dynamically type language python is dynamically typed language it means it means python interpreter understand the variable type based on the nature of the data of that variables at run time okay so here i am going to assign the is string so my interpreter will understand your data is is string so it means this variable type will be is string okay so this is the basic thing you need to remember so guys python don't have any problem even if we do not declare the type of the variable everything is depend upon the nature of the data okay and some of the rules and guidelines you need to remember while you are going to define your variables so these are the guidelines your variable can be combination of alphabet numbers and underscore variable name cannot be start from numbers you cannot provide any white space you cannot use any special symbols except underscore or you cannot use any reserve word or keyword while you are going to define your variable's name your variable can begin with alphabet which is a to z and upper a to z or an underscore okay so i'm giving you example so your first leading character should be alphabet let's say my name for example this one okay but in case let's say you are defining this this is not a valid syntax because your character your first character should be underscore or alphabet okay so here you can see that i am using the combination of alphabet numbers and underscore this is perfectly okay you cannot use any special symbols except the underscore fine or you cannot use the keywords because keywords are reserved words into the python so how we can identify the keywords so let me show you what are those so simple import keyword so import is also a keyword in a green and bold color into the jupyter notebook you will find the keyword so print total number of keywords are simple you can men mention keywords okay so the total number of keywords are 35 what are those simple print keyword dot kw list then you will have the keyword name list okay so from this list if i am going to type any of the keyword then you then you will find it is a green and bold color okay you can see that so these are the these are the okay guys so these are the reserve word we cannot use as a variable let me show you for example let's say as equal to 10 this is not a valid okay now the question is how we can define the multiple variables let's say a equal to b equal to c if i want to define the same name so i can mention let's say swift so swift is a programming so when you check the let's say print for example a and b and c you can hold your cursor and you can press the control and print and you can see that the same value i assign to the different different variables okay now how we can assign the multiple values to multiple variables in a single line so for example x comma y comma z and i am going to assign let's say 44 55 and 66 so x y simple you can press shift and enter to run that cell right fine 
and I'm going to mention the note here. Note here. No, Python is case sensitive programming. Can case sensitive programming language. Fine. So, for example, let's say I am taking the temp variable. So this temp, this temp are two different variables. Okay. So let me bold. So here the HTML will work. So I'm going to select the markdown. Okay. So that's why I can write the heading or I can uh, like manipulate my text. Let me remove that. Okay. So for an example, let's say temp equal to 20, right? And this temp equal to 30. So these, these variable are not same. Okay. So these variable values or value, I mentioned differently, but these variable treated as different. You can see that temp is a different address and ID of temp, it is also different. Okay. But when they will give me the same address while I am going to define the same value. Okay. So guys, you need to remember Python understand your variable based on your nature of the data. Okay. So for an example, if you are defining a, let's say variable, let's say once again, temp one, if I'm not defining the value, it will give me the error because the temp is not defined. Okay. So once you define your variables, our Python interpreter easily understand your nature of the data and it will give you your data is integer float and a string and it could, it could be anything. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching uh, this session. Okay, so please share this video with your friends and colleagues. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.